Well, well, well. Look at what finally decided to show up. It's almost like it's my birthday. Okay, that's not funny. To get the software, go to the ASUS website, enter your motherboard, click on support, and then go to drivers and tools, choose your proper operating system, scroll down to utilities, and then it should be the top one, or if you're watching this video later, it would be Aura version 1.04.29. Once you download that, just run it and install it, and here you go. I'm not gonna look over the independent tab because that is mostly just the motherboard. We'll start with the static effect because that seems pretty basic. You can turn the lights off by just clicking off if you so choose, but we're not boring people, so we won't be doing that. If you look over here, you can see each individual LED. You cannot select multiple LEDs at once. So if you want specific colors, you gotta do it one at a time. So let's change that to that. If you want to do motherboard only, you can click on motherboard only, hit apply, and it will only apply that color to the motherboard, not the RAM. You can apply the color to all devices, like so, but you cannot do multiple devices without doing all devices. There are five LEDs per module, and they can be individually adjusted, and it will be a pain in the ass. So that's, that's five colors on one dim. Incidentally, this dim is not so dim anymore. Next effect is breathing. Color cycle requires no user input, so you can just hit apply and it'll just go. Unfortunately, there is no brightness or speed control, although I imagine most people would want it on highest brightness setting anyway, but maybe that's something they'll add later. Next effect is rainbow. There is speed control here, but the difference in speed is not too high. So you can do a normal color cycle, or you can do gradient. And for gradient, you select these little dials and you drag them, and it'll choose only colors within the highlighted region. So here it'll be anywhere between yellow and pink. So if I hit apply, all yellow and pink, very sunset colors. If I hit reverse, it'll just basically reverse the cycle. It'll just go backwards. If you change the sequence, it'll basically change the order. So if light is going from the IO to the RAM, it'll just reverse it. Next effect is Comet. I'm gonna change the gradient to something a little different this time, so it's a little bit of variety, I guess. We'll do purple and green, pink and green, purple and green. And if you do the single color, it'll choose whatever colors you individually set the LEDs to, so that's why that first dim is kind of all wacky everywhere. There are also speed controls, and you can adjust the sequence, though the sequence is actually adjusted differently this time. Instead, you get this list where you can move things up and down to adjust the order. Although I imagine for this particular effect, it's not going to make much of a difference. Next effect is Flash and Dash. And Flash and Dash is very similar to just Comet, except now it's got the backlight to it. Check that out. Gradient effect is still available, and the sequence is still adjustable here. And you can also change speed if you so choose. These look better on the fastest settings, they look smoother. Next effect is Strobing. And then you get the first sequence adjustments here, where you pick one or two. And this is really not a strobe, it's more like kind of a, a blink, alternating blink. Yeah, you get the point. This one will react to the temperature of your processor. And the speed adjustment here is for kind of a blinky, breathy effect. You can either set it to breathe kind of quickly, it can be a little slower, or you can set it just static. And now let's begin the audio demonstration.
like you were already Okay, so that was the music demo. Now that we've got the Asus Aura software covered, let's move on to G Skills. And here we see some very familiar options. Pretty sure when G Skills said they were working on their own software, they meant they were working with Asus to bring you the same software, but that's okay. This software is basically the same exact thing, minus motherboard controls, which is fine because if you don't have an Asus motherboard, you don't need those anyway. Therefore, you can just get away with this. It's got the same music settings, Temperature, strobing, flash and dash, comet, rainbow, color cycle, breathing, and static. And so, as it turns out, I am a dirty, stinking liar. If you have the latest version of the Asus Aura software and G-Skill software, you will have what is essentially two versions of Asus' software. If you use the previous version of Asus' software, or uninstall it completely and then get G-Skills, you will have a few new options. You see the same things like static, breathing, strobing, color cycle, rainbow, comet, flash and dash, temperature, and music. But then you also get wave. This looks pretty neat. You don't get a gradient option or anything, but you can adjust these individually if you so choose, or you can apply it to each LED. Next, you have the glowing yo-yo. How adorable is that? And the last new effect is starry night. And there you have it, a little bonus for you, if you'd consider that a bonus. So in my experience with using this RAM so far, I've noticed that when I use more demanding processes like Adobe Premiere Pro and I render something, sometimes an animated lighting effect will freeze up. And it's not that big of a deal because if you go into the software again and hit apply, it will reset it, but it can be a little irritating. I feel like that might be resolved with a software update, but I'm not 100% positive. Next thing I'm not too fond of is when you choose a color, you have to do it with this color wheel. You can't just punch in numbers and get a color like that. It can be kind of annoying. I mean, you can click on red or green or blue here to get those colors, but if you need anything that's not any of those, you have to kind of eyeball it, which can be sort of kind of annoying for the those of us with a little bit of OCD. The other thing that kind of bothers me about the software is that you have to control each LED individually um, which typically wouldn't be that big of a deal if you could do multiple at once, but you can't. You can only edit several LEDs at the same time if you were editing all of the LEDs at the same time. And it's just inconvenient. For example, Corsair's uh, utility engine software will show you the layout of a keyboard. You can pick and choose lights. You can select multiple LEDs at once. You can click and drag for like half of the keyboard or all of the keyboard. If G-Skill or Asus would want to do something like that, I probably wouldn't complain. But other than that, this software is still in beta, so it's fairly prone to crashing. It's not too frequent though, I've only had it happen maybe f four times in the past week or so. But again, it's still in beta, so I imagine that will get fixed sooner or later. 
So that's all I have to say about that. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, share, or leave me questions if you've got them. Thank you for watching, my name is Steven, and I am a little dim. Bye bye. It's not too frequent though, I've only had- have I don't remember where I left off, I'm kind of just doing the script off the- I'm, There's- this one's not scripted, this one is just me talking. Um, so it's gonna be significantly less funny. Anyway. How is that romantic? That's like strobe strip club lights. That, that's not romantic at all.